Hello everybody, it's Wendy and I'm here today with something very exciting. Um, it's a new collaboration with a company called Victory Gems and Beads. Uh, their website is victorygemsandbeads.com and they are based in New York. Um, they approached me a few weeks ago about doing some unboxings and tutorials using their products and of course I wanted to. So um, I'm really excited to be working with this company. Uh, I had not heard of them before, but I checked out their website and they have absolutely beautiful products on their website um, with great prices and a lot of interesting information about the products that you uh, can buy. So we're gonna get right into this. I'm going to show you everything that they sent me in this box. And we'll discuss the, uh, the things as we go along. So firstly, we have these gorgeous amethyst purple oval faceted barrel beads. Now these have almost like a luster finish on them. I hope you can see it. They are beautiful. Can you see that little bit of a metallic finish on here? They're very, very deep purple. And again, they're faceted and barrel shaped. They are very, very pretty. Um, these are eight by 10 millimeters. Uh, you would get 33 beads. So they did want me to let you know that uh, most of the beads or all of their beads come on either eight, 10, 13, or 16 inch long strands. So I'm just receiving samples of most everything, but when you get on their website, you can see all of the details in the website. They tell you everything about the bead, the size of the holes, um, the size of the beads, how many you will get. Um, so it's really um, easy when you get on their website to shop around and look. But uh, these are absolutely beautiful, beautiful beads. So um, that is the first thing. Then we have Tiger Eye Brown Cubes Faceted. Seven millimeter, they come in seven millimeter, eight or nine. Now look at these. These are gorgeous. And on their site, it was really interesting when I was looking up these products. Uh, they tell you about the beads. So they tell you what this is made of, how it is made. It's just really interesting if you want to get on there and read. Um, every bead that I researched or looked up on their site, they had very interesting information. Um, about the beads. So these are gorgeous. They have that depth, that tiger eye, just, I don't even know. It's like a fiber optic almost look in them. Um, they are really, really pretty. These are very high quality beads, you can tell. Um, just beautiful. And these again are the tiger eye brown cube faceted. So, so pretty. Look at that. I love that one right there. <laughs> beautiful. And then this next one, this is Multi Moonstone Multicolor Cubes. They're faceted. And a lot of their beads have these really cute little tassels on the uh, ends of the strands. I thought that was really interesting. I've never seen that done before, but really interesting. So look at these. So this is a Multi Moonstone. So it looks here like we've got some Peach Moonstone, some Gray. Uh, some clear and a little darker tones. It's just gorgeous. There they are. They are faceted and they are so sparkly and beautiful. Uh, these are cubes. They come in 7, 8, and 9 millimeter. Just gorgeous beads. Look at these. I love these little tassels. That's really interesting. I've never seen any other company do that before. Very unique. Look at the sparkle on these. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay. And then next we have light green opal rondelle smooth natural beads. These are 10 millimeter. Look at these. Oh, these are so pretty. They're just, they remind me of ice cream <laughs> because they're just so smooth and I don't know. They just, they look just, they remind me of ice cream. So these again, light green opal rondelle, smooth natural beads, just gorgeous. And these, um, like I said, you know, they come in these different lengths of strands. So you can get on there and check that all out. 
Uh, they did want me to tell you as well that they are still updating their site. There are some things that are not on there. They're adding things all the time. So um, just check them out. And if you don't see something that you would like to see on there, um, they said that they have much more inventory than is currently on their site. So if you need something, feel free to contact them and they will see if they have it for you. So really great company seems like. These are beautiful. Um, next we have Appetite Blue Rondell Faceted Natural Beads. Oh my goodness. I love these. <laughs> these are such a beautiful teal. It's a mix between a teal and like a sea green. They are so pretty. So sparkly. And you get, look at all of these. It's a huge amount that you get on here. I mean, that's a lot of beads. Let's see, uh, 120 beads. So absolutely gorgeous. If you can see the depth in there, they're just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, next we have Pink Opal Long Pear Faceted Natural Stones. Look at these, Pink Opal. So beautiful. And again, if you get on their site, you can read about the opal and all the properties that it has. And um, yeah, just really interesting. And these are all so different. If you look at this one, it's spotted. And then you go down here and this one has, look at all of this very interesting, um, just, I don't know what it is, but it's just, they're beautiful. They're slightly faceted, if you can see that. So, so pretty. And again, cute little pink tassels on the end of these that you can use for earrings. You could use them for all kinds of different things. So these, again, are the Pink Opal Long Pear Faceted Natural Stones. Okay. And then we have a lot of really beautiful sparkle here. <laughs> so... We have Pyrite Brass Round Faceted Micro Beads. So these are tiny little beautiful, they look to me, let's see, they are two to three millimeter. Look how sparkly and beautiful they are. So these are the natural brass. Uh, you get 160 beads on this one. Then we have gold coated. That's this. These are three to four millimeter. And you get 130 on these. So, so pretty. Then we have silver. That's these right here. And they're the same as the gold, three to four millimeter, 130 beads. And then it looks like we have a beautiful rose gold on here as well. Oops, I've got them in a little bit of a knot. I'll get that out later, but <laughs> I got them tangled up there. But look at the rose gold. So look at these together. What a pretty mixed metal. If you wanted to do a mixed metal necklace, look how gorgeous all those are together. They're sparkly. They're just beautiful. And again, these are the Pyrite Brass Round Faceted Natural Micro Beads. And then these are coated Pyrite, the gold and the silver and the rose gold. I do really, I did really get this one tangled up. There we go, that's better. So you can see them all, they are so pretty. Okay, and then we have some black spinel. So these are tiny little micro black spinel beads. And again, try, there we go. I <laughs> didn't want them to come apart. Look how sparkly these are. These are, let's see, doesn't say the millimeters on my list, but I believe that these are probably two, one and a half to two millimeters. But look how beautiful. They are so sparkly. It says 175 to 210 beads. So that is a lot of little black spinel beads. And paired with these, I think they're just gorgeous. I might have to do a necklace, a multi-strand something or other using all of these. I will be doing tutorials with all of these products. So if you have not subscribed to my channel and you want to see what I make with these things, you need to subscribe and then um, ring the little bell so that you'll be notified when I upload the videos. Okay. 
So absolutely gorgeous. Now let me flip my page. <laughs> I have amethyst two color barrel beads. Look how beautiful. These are dewdrop faceted, amethyst purple dewdrop faceted barrel beads. Look at this, these are stunning. Get the color in there so you can see. And again, they have this, these sweet little tassels. I think those are so cute. Beautiful beads. Sparkly, purple. Just beautiful amethyst. I love the faceting on these. Look at this one. Look how pretty that is. Yes, I'm excited to work with that. Uh, then we have Boulder Opal Blue Gray Pear Faceted nat Natural Beads. That's these. Look how beautiful. Look at this one. I love gemstone beads that are just all different on one strand. I think it is so interesting to see how each one is created different than the next one. They're just, it's amazing to me. And look, at this is, I think, my favorite one on this strand. Look at her or him. <laughs> so cool. So these, again, are Boulder Opal Blue-Gray Pear Faceted Natural Beads. I'm going to do some earrings, I think, with these. Or maybe a necklace and some earrings. I love these drops. They're so pretty. And again, cute little tassels. We could do some earrings and put a tassel on there or a long necklace with um, some tassels. So we'll have fun with that. A green onyx round faceted natural beads. Now I did not even know that onyx came in green. So I found that very interesting. Uh, these are beautiful. These are, I believe, eight millimeter, seven or eight. They're faceted. Look how pretty. It's a deep, deep, beautiful green um not quite emerald i hope it's showing up on the camera not quite emerald not quite jade it's just beautiful it's a gorgeous color so there they are and you can see the sparkle they're just fantastic okay and then we have citrine orange round faceted natural beads whoops getting things tangled up over here here these are I love citrine as well. Look at this. They are so pretty. So beautiful. You can see the striations inside each bead that just makes them so unique. Each one different from the next. Beautiful. Citrine orange round faceted natural beads. Okay. Then we have Crystal Quartz Marquis Faceted Natural. That's these. Aren't these beautiful? Look at the faceting on these. They are so pretty. It's a beautiful little green color. Just beautiful. Love these. The faceting, they are sparkly. Did I say green? I meant purple. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking. Beautiful purple color, not green. Not green at all. Those are gorgeous. Little drops. They're top drilled. Okay, then we have these are so interesting. These are Boulder Opal Pentagons. Look at these. Oh, I love them. I can see earrings with these. These would be so cute with earring as earrings. Look at them, they're just amazing. Never seen this before, but look at the faceting and the sparkle. So these are pentagon shaped, it says, and they are boulder opal, which we had back here with the pears as well. So we could even mix and match these together. They are so beautiful. Look at that, each one different than the next. Again, they're just unique and beautiful. Uh, then we have amethyst. Oh, I'm sorry. I told you guys the wrong thing. These were not the crystal quartz marquees. Oh, I missed one. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's let's rewind. <laughs> Future Wendy says past Wendy mess, messed up. So here we go. These are the crystal marquees. Oh, I'm sorry. Crystal quartz marquees. 
multifaceted natural beads. Yes, this makes much more sense. Look how beautiful. They are sparkly and just gorgeous. And look how many are on the strand. This is a huge, huge amount. But oh, these are just, these are stunning. They have a slight fastening on them. So they're just sparkly enough. Uh, and they are this beautiful crystal quartz. They would go with anything. They're so pretty. So yes, I can see mixing these. And these together would be so pretty. There's just so many things we could do with these. So we'll have fun with those as well. Now we have our little amethyst dew drops. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, little amethyst drops. I messed up. Amethyst dew drops, top drilled, faceted natural beads. That makes so much more sense. Yes, they're beautiful too. Not green at all. Definitely purple. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we have those. And then we have Labradorite pencils. So these are stunning. I love Labradorite. And on their site, I wanted to tell you, it's, it's so interesting. So let me get that where you can see some of the flash in these. They are just stunning. Um, it says Labradorite is named for where it was found in Labrador, a Canadian province on the Isle of Paul. Uh, Inuits once called Labradorite a firestone and would use the powdered form to help cure ailments. According to Inuit legend, a warrior saw the northern lights trapped in the rocks and struck them with his spear to free some of the lights. The stone was first described by Moravian missionaries of the late 18th century, introducing the stone into the European market. Labradorite is not exclusive to Canada, however, and can be found in Mexico, Russia, and Finland. Since its discovery, Labradorite has been highly sought after stone for use in jewelry. And we can see why. Look how beautiful. Look at that. These are absolutely stunning. This is some of the most high quality and just gorgeous Labradorite that I think I've ever seen in my jewelry making journeys. And I've seen a lot of Labradorite. This is just gorgeous. Look at that. So they have really interesting, um, interesting facts on their website about the gemstones that you buy. So I just thought that was super interesting. I had never heard that before. Um, all right. And then we have rose quartz pears. Look at these, these precious little beautiful drops. They are gorgeous. They are top drilled. They are faceted as well and are so, so pretty little, uh, just dainty little drops. These would make beautiful earrings for a small child, like a little girl. If you had a granddaughter or daughter or niece, um, absolutely beautiful little earrings out of these for a, a child. But I think they're just stunning. And then mix them with this beautiful tourmaline. So this is, let me grab my little paper again. This is Tourmaline Multi Rondelle Faceted Natural Beads. And look how pretty these are. Look how sparkly. And they look so pretty with this rose quartz together. So I think a pair of earrings for a little girl out of this would be, just be precious. Um, but these are, whoops, I guess they don't need to go in the house. Put these back. These are Tourmaline. They are two and a half mil, 2.5 millimeters. And oh, they're just stunning beautiful. Look at this. The sparkle on them is just fantastic. And they're all different shades. It would just so be so pretty to string something simple with them. A bracelet, a necklace, something very minimal just to showcase the bead, you know, and not take anything away from it. So that's probably what I'll do with these. Something very minimal and just um, showcase those beautiful beads. They're stunning. Okay, then we have Crystal Quartz Yellow Oval Smooth Coating Beads. That's these right here. These are beautiful as well. They're not faceted, they're smooth. Just a beautiful quartz. Very, very pretty. Okay, then we have Opala, or Appetite, I'm sorry, Ombre Rondelles. Look how gorgeous these are. So this is one of my favorite colors, this just teal blue. 
uh, shade. I love it. And you get a variation of, you know, lighter, darker, and middle on here. They're just gorgeous. These are, oh, I don't have the um, millimeters of these, but like I said, they will have everything on their website for you to see. And if you have any questions, just contact them and they will be happy to answer them. Then we have Star Opalite in pink and pink, black, and opalite. So we have this beautiful opalite star. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It actually goes very well with this moonstone. I think that would be pretty together. And then we have black and pink as well. So these are so cool. They are not drilled, so they would need to be, a wire wrap would be really pretty on these. Or you could glue on a bale, but I'm thinking a wire wrap would be very cool. Okay, so we have our stars, and then we have our moons. We've got black and multi-green in these opalite moons. Look at this. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. That's reversible. You could do that either way. And I could see wrapping it with some teeny tiny, maybe these black spinel beads. That would be really cool to maybe wire wrap onto this. But beautiful, beautiful. So cool. And now we have some more Labradorite. And this is just stunningly beautiful. So this is Labradorite Blue Oval Faceted Heat Treated Beads. And they are stunning. Look at this. You see the flash in these beads? I hope you can. I hope it's showing up well on this camera. They are just gorgeous. I'm excited to use these. Faceted and beautiful. Such a pretty flash in there. Then we have um, Silver Chain with Rainbow Moonstone. So these are tiny little links and so dainty and so pretty. So we've got the silver metal and then you've got your rainbow moonstone whoops come on camera there we go your rainbow moonstone in there this is gorgeous and you get quite a bit of it this is a long length of chain uh, but this is just so so dainty and pretty then we have some a colorful thread so this is like rat tail or um, silk thread here and look at it, it's an ombre kind of rainbow thing. So this is really cool. Watch me tie it right in a knot on camera. <laughs> but this is really cool and so, 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 so colorful and pretty. Just makes you happy, doesn't it? To look at all that beautiful color. And they sent some golden earring hooks. That's these. I love these. I love the shape of them. Um, I love that they don't have the screw thing. I do not like that on the earrings. I think these are just really classy and elegant and beautiful. So there they are, so nice. Then we have these solid half moon blanks. So these are solid brass half moon blanks. So these are really interesting. You know, you could hang something here and something here. They could be connectors on a bracelet, um, kind of like this would be cool to do um, back to back with them. Uh, I don't know what we'll do with these, but they're really cool. So I'll come up with something. I love these. Okay. Then we have some bead stringing wire. So uh, this is great for any type of stringing project, pretty much, that you want to do. Very versatile. And then, of course, all the tassels that came on our bead strands. So again, I think that is such a unique thing that they do and so interesting. And we got lots of tassels in here. So that is my unboxing for VictoryGemsAndBeads.com. I do have an uh, affiliate link for them that will give you a 10% discount. It is a bead on a wire 10. And I will link everything in the description box below this video um, so you can, you know, you can see where to go. Um, it is VictoryGemsAndBeads.com again and just absolutely beautiful products uh high quality gorgeous like i said i've never seen labradorite as beautiful as this so check out their website um and yeah take advantage of this great deal 10 percent off they also offer free shipping over 250 dollars 
Um, so that's a great deal as well. You could get 10% off and then some free shipping too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will be back again with tutorials using these products. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.